And this is really cool. This is the amazing Spider-Man behind the scenes and beyond the web. Which is a nice book I got for like five bucks. <laughs> it was really dirt cheap. And what's cool about it is just the photographs are amazing. That's mainly why I bought it. I just thought it was really cool and I couldn't pass it up for the price. That's the slip cover. And this is the actual book. And I'll show you what's inside of it. Really nice photographs. Really nice. I mean, I think this film's okay. I mean, it's decent. And now, after seeing the MCU Spider-Man, you know, the, the films, and I kind of, you know, I think, uh, you know, the amazing Spider-Man films, they're, they're underrated. Now that I, you know, go back and look at them, watch them again, they're underrated. They could have continued on with that too. You know. In my review for the first film. I was a little disappointed by it. You know. I was comparing it to Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. But. Now watching them again. I kind of have appreciation for the amazing Spider-Man films now. Nice. Nice photographs. These are just amazing. No pun intended. <laughs> Storyboards. Look at that. The lizard. I thought the lizard looked pretty cool, actually. I didn't mind the way he looked in the movie. Now some people didn't like the way he looked. I thought he... He was pretty cool. Wow. That's cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Nice images right here. Emma Stone, she was a really good Gwen Stacy. She was spot on. She looked just like Gwen Stacy from the comics. They picked a really good actress to play that part. That was one of the better things about that film. Let's see here. Nice images here. Whip shooters. Yeah, definitely worth picking up if you can find it, like, you know, on Amazon, which is where I got it from. Good deal for like five bucks. I got and pass it up. Beautiful looking book. That's, that's that. And then we got the Art of Spider-Man classic. And if you're new to Spider-Man, you know, this is a great way to introduce new fans to Spider-Man. The history of all the comic books. Got some nice covers. It's mostly just artwork. 
some classic covers here. All that stuff. Some newer Spider-Man, some older. Some Todd McFarlane Spider-Man here. Showing you some of the pages and the cover art. And talk a little bit about the history. This is a classic one, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 33. Spider-Man is stuck in this contraption. He has to try to survive and get out of this thing. Otherwise, he's going to drown. Pretty cool. So that's that. Nice book. If you're new to Spider Man or just want a history of everything in one book, this is Behind the Mask of Spider Man. I got this because it was just cool. You know, I was talking about the first film. I wanted to know more about the film, you know, the production that was made. So I picked this one up. It's got a lot of information that was made and it's informative. It's a good read. So if you're into all that type of stuff, it's a nice book. Look at that. This like a this is the original Green Goblin, the way they were they were thinking about using this design and he's way too scary looking I could see why they decide to use the design you know in the film he just probably scare kids if they use that design yeah some cool stuff in here It's a nice book. That's cool. Yeah, that's uh, behind the mask of Spider Man.